Welcome everybody, my name is Don. Um, this is my version of a uh, Mark I Tiger tank. Um, there are many videos on YouTube of how people go about making their tanks, but this is slightly different in that it's entirely made from cardboard. Uh, there is nothing else that I use apart from the gun turret, which is a biro pen and a cocktail stick. <laughs> and the wheels are cardboard. Uh, everything else that you see oh, is uh, two millimeter cardboard. A bit of toilet roll at the back there. Um, so the rest of this video will be how I go about making the, the, the basic shape of it. Um, it's up to you, of course, how you uh, how you finish it, how you weather it, paint it, whatever. Uh, but I'll just give you a, a closer look. Everything. Uh, Everything is handmade and uh, made from cardboard. <laughs> Some of you may be thinking, uh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's just an alternative, an, an idea than, uh, than uh, buying these expensive plastic kits. You'll end up with the same thing, pretty much. Okay, so the rest of this video is how I go about, or how I went about, making it. Okay, let's begin. We need two millimeter card. Um, you can glue thin pieces of uh, like packaging, like cornflake packets. If you uh, glue three pieces together, it'll make up about uh, two millimeters. Uh, but if you can buy it as 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 it is two millimeters thick that's the best thing to use so we need two pieces uh, seven inches by an inch and a sixteenth so seven inches long inch and a sixteenth that way that's 178 millimeters and 28 millimeters that way then we need to mark out down in this bottom corner six millimeters in from the edge six millimeters and up from the bottom and a 45 degree cut there so quarter of an inch quarter of an inch then measure a line from the bottom seven eighths where are we so seven eighths from the bottom a line across there so if this is inch and sixteenth we'll have a th <coughs> three sixteenths gap there uh, uh, along that seven eighths line, measure three inches, uh, 75 millimeters. Okay, and that's one one point there. And then from this edge, measure in one inch, and then three quarters of an inch. So 25 millimeters, and then 18 millimeters. And that's all you need. So draw a line from that one inch point down to that seven eighths uh, line. And then from that three quarters down to the three inch point there. Okay, so three inches, one inch, three quarters. Cut that out. And then in the bottom there, you will need a uh, a three-quarter diameter 18 millimeter diameter circle okay and that just sits in the in the edge so it touches the side and the bottom okay easy so that's the shape you need and we need two of those and then we need a sheet a sheet a piece uh, six and a quarter by two and three eighths six and a quarter two and three eighths or 159 millimeters by 86 millimeters and that will sit there on the edge of that 45 degree angle like that and it will end somewhere halfway along that uh, circle so we'll have two of those like that 
So glue those on and then put some strut, two or three struts just to hold it in place across there. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back. So this is what we should have now. Uh, all stuck together. Um, hot melt glue gun is the uh, the way to go. Uh, you can use PVA glue, but it's a lot of hanging around, a lot of waiting for it to dry. Um, hot melt glue is instant. You can uh, really get get on and do it fast. So that's the shape that we have at the moment. That's the front. Now what we need is a piece of two millimeter card, eight and 15 sixteenths by four inches, or 228 millimeters by 102 millimeters. That's the size of the card. <clears throat> then we need to turn it over and measure along here, a quarter of an inch, then 15 sixteenths, then from that, from that uh, point one inch and then three quarters of an inch so a quarter of an inch from that this edge then 15 sixteenths from this edge then from that edge one inch and then three quarters so six 24 mil 25 mil 18 mil okay and then score along those lines don't cut all the way through so you you've got that effect. It's quite easy to do with two millimeter card. Turn it over and from the back edge here four inches. From there to there four inches and score a line there. Then turn it back over again <laughs> and then a quarter of an inch and one inch. Six mil, twenty-five mil and score there. So we've got two scores there one score there and one, two, three, four scores there. Then this middle bit needs to fit inside, inside our unit there. So it's going to be uh, two and three eighths. That's going to be two and three eighths wide. So find the center line and then one and three sixteenths either side. And then to make our mud guards, just make a, a, a just a little bit more than a two millimeter gap there, and then cut the line up to that score there. So it will look like that. Then what we can do, starting here, we can put this all in one go. So it will be like that. We'll have the right shape, the right width <coughs> and uh, everything all uh, all in place. <coughs> Excuse my voice. Okay, so I'll do that and come back in a moment. So this is what we should have now. Uh, we've got the front with that sloping and then joined up at the bottom there and uh, the back all in. <coughs> Now what we need are the sides. Uh, now th th this is the shape that we've got to follow. The straight line of three quarters. Then you remember when we uh, did the uh, three eighths line and did the slight curve down there and then straight along there. So what we need are two pieces of card six inches long by seven eighths wide. Or 152 by 23 millimeters. Uh, we need to measure three inches. If you remember, that was the line three inches from that end, and then um, three quarters for that line, that distance there, and then three. The, the dis distance <laughs> was three sixteenths. If you remember. On the, when we when we made this, the difference between that height and that white height was three sixteenths. So we need to that size again, only in reverse. So the, from the bottom up to three sixteenths to that line there. <laughs> I hope that's clear. But what we need is to straighten the line now. Now that we've got a 
a, a slight incline there we've got to straighten it off so that will sit like that okay so one of those either side and then when you've done that just put a filler in either side front and back all right then we'll be ready for the top getting there so we've got the sides on now and I filled in either end and then uh, a strut in the middle just for extra strength um, now all we need to do is put the top on like so and uh, all that's left then is the turret so we're nearly done so we need a card six inches by four inches or 152 by 102 then measuring from the front this is going to be the front two and a half inches or 63 millimeters and then draw a circle uh, two and a half inches diameter so the 63 inches diameter uh, when you cut this out keep it we'll need that later we'll need the circle uh, then draw a line through the center and just cut out a couple of notches there doesn't really matter what size about uh, four or five millimeters by three something like that just a couple of little notches uh, and that will then glue on top there okay so when we've got that we'll come back and do the turret so we've got our top on now and uh, we've kept the circle uh, that's going to fix onto the turret so that we can swivel the, the turret around <clears throat> now for the turret itself uh, two millimeter card again um, we need a, a circle uh, two and three quarters diameter or 70 millimeters once we've got that circle measure uh, three eighths of an inch from the center and we need a line uh, that's going to be a score line so once we've got this shape we're going to bend this front down a bit uh, and at the front here uh, from the center line one inch either side so two inches wide there and then just join the circle to that point there so that's two inches wide oh and this is half an inch by the way or 12 millimeters from the edge of the circle out there now this bit uh, it's it's going to be easier to mark this out now than than later <laughs> so uh, just make uh, open your compasses a little more uh, this will be about uh, half an inch whatever five eighths and then uh, mark out this shape on the back there <clears throat> you don't need that in it, well when we, when we cut it out we'll cut around the circle and cut this shape out that part and then score down that line that's all all that we need but then as a separate piece then cut out that shape as we've already got this uh, arc we can utilize that and cut this out and we need two of these so two of those but we'll cut those out a bit later uh, but this is what we need this shape and then score down there okay i'll do that uh, then we will need some one inch wide 25 millimeters card but it needs to be thinner than two millimeters two millimeters won't curve around that that shape so it needs to be a thinner card so one millimeter or maybe even thinner uh, just straight off the cornflake packet might be easier uh, so that's it's going to sit inside the line there and we're going to bend that round uh, for this to to stick on but i'll cut this out and we'll go from there so cut that shape out scored along that line and that will bend down just a little bit like that and then with the thin card one inch wide we can <clears throat> bend that round to there obviously that will 
go to the top like that and just a slight incline there then we can mark that out mark that line and where the cardboard ends and the same that side there uh, and that will give us then our uh, shape of the turret although at the bottom there is a, a slight cutout as well so uh, if you have a look on um, it's, it's only just a just a little bit of a cut at the bottom there um, and then underneath we need the, to fill this in but it will only be this shape this circle as far as that line uh, so we can fill that fill that part in uh, okay so I think that's all I'll go away and do it uh, these bits at the back they're, they're not quite as high as that they're, they're set it's set down a bit like that and <laughs> <laughs> like that it's about they're about half an inch apart like that so again you'll need to put uh, a piece of uh, thin card around there and fill the ends in and that will make that piece on the end okay so I'll go away and do all that and come back so <clears throat> the turret all finished now you can see where that bottom part just co goes up in, in, a, in a slight curve up there. Uh, only, only, it's only just a little tiny bit cut out at the bottom there. <clears throat> and uh, that squirrel liner down there will give that sloping effect at the front there. Uh, and this <laughs> thing, I have no idea what it is, uh, but they've all got them on. Uh, so there's that thing on the back there. That was easy enough to make because we already had that shape when we cut the circle out and we had two of them and just a piece of cardboard around there. Uh, on the bottom I, I put a, an, another smaller circle underneath to, to uh, lift, uh, lift, the, uh, um, lift it up a bit from, from, from this surface. Then I put that circle that we cut out from the uh, card there and then a piece of um, a lollipop stick or a piece of wood uh, chamfer the edges to a, a bit of a point there and then if if I'm lucky and this works I don't know so we've got a swiveling turret like that okay the front of the turret is that shape if you look at photos or um, uh, other kit model kits it's, it's that kind of shape uh, now this is where the real modeling comes in um, I haven't got a gun with a plastic kit you get everything that you need you don't have to look for anything but for modeling for true modeling <laughs> you have to make your own so if you go to your drawer and take out as many uh, biro pens, you know, the click, click on and click off, uh, that's a piece of the mechanism of a biro pen. That's, um, uh, oh, what do you call it, barbecue stick. That's a bit of a pen as well. So whatever you can find that will slip into in a hole at the end of it to make up some kind of gun like that you're not going to be able to buy one so you have to make one so there's my gun and that will sit like that I'll stick that on there like that so the the, the gun is point well maybe not so much <laughs> down a bit that 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 is the shape of the front uh, because it, it, the idea is for it to, to go up and down like that but uh, obviously with with cardboard we're a bit limited but that should be okay with that stuck on there now that as far as I'm concerned is all the dimensions I can give you there is a load more things to do there are grills and things on the back there are exhaust pipes and what have you on the back here there's uh, hatch holes here 
and another thing there. The, the only thing that you can do now is to look. It, the, the best thing to do is to look at uh, YouTube videos of people putting um, plastic kits together and, and look at their end result of what they've got on there. There's a sp spade and things along the side and God knows what. And it's that that makes the tank. I mean, that, that, that that's OK. We've got the dimensions and we've made that. But now that's just start. That's just the beginning really um, look a bit better with a gun on the front and as for the wheels um, I on my Sherman tank I use the um, uh, the bottom what, what you put on the bottom of table legs to stop them scratching the floor that you can buy from any DIY shop you know that kind of not gonna focus that kind of thing uh, but these are too small. We're going to need seven eighths diameter of something. You could cut them out of cardboard, but I wouldn't recommend it. So you need something that is about three quarters or seven eighths diameter to make up the 16 wheels, uh, eight either side. So again, I'm going to leave that to you. Uh, the track um, is corrugated card and then sprayed whatever color this is green in that's what I cut it from this green and I sprayed it silver but uh, that then will go around go around the wheels like that uh, 20 millimeters wide if you followed my instructions we'll have 20 millimeters there and that's how wide the tracks were, the equivalent of uh, 20 millimetres in 135 scale. OK, so I'm going to finish this off. When I've put all my things and bits and pipes and God knows what all around it, then I'll give it a coat of um, white wall filler, uh, watered down, not, not straight from the tub, just watered down a bit, and that will fill in all these gaps and uh, where we've scored along there, along there, along there. We'll fill all those holes in and, and it will just be a pure white um, tank then. Then we can do anything we like. Paint it, uh, weather it, do all kinds, all kinds of things. And again, that is down to you. Um, so like I say, I will finish mine off. I'll come back and show you the finished uh, object. Uh, and then uh, I'll leave it up to you <laughs> to do yours. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are two days later. It took me to finish this off. Um, I put that coating of white wall filler, filled in all the gaps that were necessary. Um, <clears throat> then sprayed it with a grey aerosol uh, car touch-up spray can uh, and then added all, all these bits and pieces. If I point them out, uh, this is uh, one of those things you put on the bottom of legs <laughs> of furniture to stop scratching the floor. That's that. That's uh, two millimetre cardboard. There's three mil three pieces of cardboard there. Uh, drinking straw, cardboard, drinking straw, dome-headed washer. Um, where are we going? Oh, there, the, um, let show you. The spade and the axe, uh, toothpick and one millimeter card. Easy enough. The back, <coughs> toilet roll holder. Um, one millimeter card, the ends of uh, a pencil, um, mosquito netting, <laughs> there's a, a, a grill thing there, and any kind of gauze there will do. Um, electrical wiring for the exhaust pipe. Uh, again, uh, cardboard, 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 cardboard. Uh, 
some twisted wire that I just happened to have. Now the wheels, I, I suggested to you that it wouldn't be a good idea to make your own. So I ordered from my local shopping channel these pieces of uh, rubber. Um, what they sent me was far too big. Um, 22 millimeters is the optimum side size of a wheel and these were too big and you couldn't paint it anyway it just flaked off and you couldn't stick it anyway either that it just came off again so pretty useless really so I did what I suggested that you never do <laughs> and made my own wheels so I had to cut 16 wheels um, from three millimeter cardboard and weather them as, as best I could. Uh, oh, well, and put the uh, the skirt along, just pieces of one one millimeter card. Uh, so that that's what I've done. I, I've I've weathered it to a, a certain degree, but once you've got this in like this, then you can uh, weather it much much better. Uh, you can weather it as as much as you can a, um, a plastic kit. Um, you wouldn't necessarily start painting straight onto plastic. You would put an undercoat on. So what you're painting is the undercoat. And it's the same with cardboard. You would put an undercoat, like I did, of wall filler. Uh, and then you can, uh, with, with painting, you can weather it as much as you need. But anyway, I digress. That's my version of a tiger tank. And I think it would look good. Um, this is the Ramel Bridge from uh, Saving Private Ryan, where poor Mr. Tom Hanks is sitting here on his last legs. Uh, spoiler alert. And then the tiger tank just coming over the bridge like that. So I think that makes it into a, a better setting like that. <laughs> okay, so one tiger tank, completely made from cardboard, um, cost nothing at all to make, absolutely nothing, just a few pennies for a, a sheet of uh, cardboard. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Yeah, I hope you have a go yourself. Um, it really is modeling plastic kits <laughs> plastic kits is not modeling you're just sticking bits of plastic together this is actually making it uh, anyway <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel uh, click that like button and uh, I will be back with more content and I'll see you in the next video <laughs>